Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another Decentralized Finance Tutorial. Today we're gonna to learn everything about Gnosis Safe, the most trusted multi-sig wallet. So apparently putting the mic on is not enough. You actually need to know how to operate this thing and as you probably know, hardware fails us all sometimes and it failed me this time. It really failed me. And I hope that the next time it won't fail me and I will be able to provide for you videos with amazing sound quality. Thank you for the patience. And this is practical tutorial, practical education where you're gonna use Gnosis Safe. You'll learn how to read Gnosis Safe data, like assets, owners, okay? What kind of assets and owners the safe has? What kind of requirements it has? Is it two out of three signatures? Is it two out of four, three out of five? And also all the transaction history. So if you have a safe that you want to track and see what kind of transaction history it has, if it's a project that you follow, or if it's your own safe, this is what we're gonna to learn and also we we'll learn how to execute transactions ourselves and sign transaction using Gnosis Safe. Now, if you want to learn more about Gnosis Safe and you're not sure what it is, what are multi sig wallets, please check in the description below the previous tutorials of what is Gnosis Safe and my complete tutorial of setting up a new multi sig wallet. The link will be in the description below or just search for what is Gnosis Safe Join Time or create Gnosis Safe Join Time. It will find it very, very easily. And now, without further ado, let's get started. So this is the example of my Gnosis Safe that I created on the previous creation tutorial and this is quite cool. The user interface is super nice and now we'll try to explore and understand what we can see in the interface and what we can learn about this safe. So here on the left side of the section, we can see the safe name and address. The safe is basically a smart contract on the Ring B Ethereum testnet chain. It could be on any other chain on BSC, Polygon or Ethereum, for example. You can also click here to see it on the Ring B scan and you can see that it's a smart contract that has a balance of 0.02 Ether. Now this balance will be reflected over here in USD value by the last Ether price. And here you can create a new transaction if you are one of the owners of the safe, which is true in that case because I was the one who created it. Now, this is the address again, two out of two signers, the name, and you can see that it has right now one token and zero NFT. If you want to view all the assets that this kind of safe has, like another, like a normal MetaMask wallet, but more secure, you can either click here, view assets, or here on the assets on the side menu over here, and you can divide it to coins and NFT. Right now, this this safe has only 0.02 ETH, but if it would have tokens or ELC20 or 721, 7, 721 NFT tokens, it will be represented over here. So this is how you can see the assets. Now, if you want to see the owners of the safe, you can go here to the address book and you can see that the owners are Johnny. You can see that the other owner is Signal2 and this is the address of the safe itself. This is the same address that you're gonna see over here. So these are all the addresses that are associated with this kind of Gnosis safe wallet. Now, if you wanna see the history of the transaction that happened in the safe, you go to the transaction, you can see here the queue. Now there are no queue transactions in the queues but in a moment we'll do a transaction simulation so we can see it over here and the history all the create the history of the safe what happened since it was created you can see the safe creation event and then it received 0.02t if this is the things that happened in the previous tutorial and now that we understand how to read Gnosis safe how it works the interface now let's see how we can initiate a transaction so let's say we want to withdraw the ETH from the safe. Okay, so we want to withdraw. We can either click here new transaction and do send funds, send NFTs or contract interaction. We can do any kind of transaction that you basically want, but this will be a simpler um, example, which will be withdrawing ETH. So we can simply go to the assets, coins, and then ETH and send, okay? Now you need to specify the recipient. So it's very similar to MetaMask wallet or any other crypto wallet that you are familiar with. You need to spec specify the recipient and the amount. So I want to send the ETH back to, to, the, to my original address. So I'm gonna paste here the address and I'm gonna click here max. I want to withdraw all the ETH from the safe okay for the sake of the example i will click here a view and it will show me some kind of um summary of this transaction i'll click here submit and now i just need to sign the transaction 
sign to prove that I'm the one who signed it. I don't need to send on-chain transaction because it's not going to be executed on-chain. It's not going to change the state of the blockchain yet. Why? Do you have any idea? You are absolutely right because we need two signatures. This wallet is two out of two. So we need also signer two to approve this transaction. And he's going to be the one who paid the gas fees and send the transaction on the chain. So I'm going to sign here the transaction. And there you go. You can see the transaction was added to the queue. But it's not sent yet because we need the approval of signer number two because this is a safe of type of two out of two signers. If you go into the transactions and the queue, you can see that this newly created transaction will be now in the queue. In order to make it executed, we need the approval of the signer number two. And that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to change the account to signer number two. And now we can see here that it's need, this transaction needs my confirmation. So I'm going to go here, open it, and I can either confirm or reject it. We're going to confirm it, obviously. So we're going to click here, confirm. And this time, this is, I'm going to be paying the gas because I'm the second, I'm the last approval who's going to approve the transaction. So I need to send a transaction on chain and pay transaction fees for it. So I'm going to confirm it. And it's not just a signature, but it's a transaction that's going to change the state of the blockchain and send those kind of 0 0.02 ETH from the safe to my wallet. Now the transaction is pending and we are waiting until it will be confirmed by the validators of the chain. And the transaction was confirmed. You can see that it moved from the queue to the history. The balance now of the safe is zero dollars. And you can see here this kind of transaction that the ETH was sent. And if you go also to the Ether Scan Explorer, you can see that now the Gnosis safe does not have any ETH because the exit transaction was executed and the ETH was sent here, we'll see it over here, the heat was sent to my address. So that's how you can actually work with Gnosis Safe Wallets. I hope this guide was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments below. I will be more than happy to help you out. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. It really helps and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next tutorials. Bye-bye.